Hi beautiful Scorpio, it's CJ. I will be doing you a reading for July 2022. It'll be a general read, so take what flows to you and let the rest go. Um, I hope you're doing really well and that things are going kindly for you. Um, let's just get into your reading. I wanna see what's happening. So I'm gonna open up with just getting you a major arcana, see what energy is around you, what you can work with, or even advice from spirit of what's coming your way. So let us get started. All right, spirit, show me clearly what card what energy does Scorpio have to work with or what is it that they need to know about show me clearly please okay thank you the hermit Libra had that card Libra no um Leo had that card. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Fool. It does feel like there's a new beginning coming your way, a new start somehow. Um, Hermit has shown up. So the Hermit, I'm just going to keep going, and we'll just kind of talk as we're going through here. The Hermit, I'll show you it first. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Look at that shine. Look at that glow happening there. A lot of inner learning, a lot of inner wisdom that you're connecting with here over this month of July. Uh, really turning inward to look for the answers that you're needing, perhaps to get on uh, this new path, this new start that may be coming your way here. Um, but it is a beautiful energy. I'm going to get you an animal oracle, then we're going to get the cards, the tarot, and then we'll really kind of start talking about it. All right, bottom of the deck is sacrifice. It is the bowl. Um, that may be very important. You may be having to sacrifice a little bit, maybe a little bit of your time, really focusing on what this is that you're wanting to achieve here. But with the Hermit, it's like you are really relying on your strength and your inner knowing to guide you, Scorpio, which is absolutely gorgeous because you are a very deep, deep energy and you have a lot of intuitive gifts. Uh, so I think that is really appropriate that you are really reflecting and going so far inside and shining that light to see every part of you um, to guide you, you know? Okay. Show me clearly for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Not ready yet. Hmm. It's taking a while. Deck seems kind of quiet. Show me clearly, please. What message? Must be a pretty important message that's taking this long. There we go. Wow, okay, we have goat. And we have chameleon on the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right, I said that there was going to be a big change. I feel it. Like there's a shift happening here, whether it's just internally or if it's on the, like externally. We have GOAT, which is all about being reliable. I feel like it's about you being reliable on yourself here. Um, and we also have the chameleon, which is change. It's being adaptable, being able to go with the flow, you know, um, and not get bogged down by anything. The GOAT here, I love, this is just such a beautiful energy that comes off this card. There's a huge, huge GOAT and it's standing protecting this house and I feel like that's you relying on your inner strength, your inner wisdom, protecting you. As in, you are the house, but you are also still the goat. And you are actually shielding and protecting what you know is yours. The hermit is looking directly at the goat as well. So there's a really powerful connection going on here. Let's continue. Let's get into the tarot. But the chameleon, uh, this is a really positive, important card because... Not only is it indicating that you're going to have a lot of changes that are happening, it's also saying that you, as a, you just to be adaptable and move with things without putting a lot of restrictions on, on whatever this may be for you. But you're going to be able to rely on yourself. So if you've been feeling like not so... Um, how can I say this? If you've been feeling like you haven't been, I'm trying to really think of what the best words to say. I know what I'm feeling. If you've been feeling like you maybe haven't been able to take control of your life or you've been feeling like, damn, I don't know if I can do all of this for myself. You know, we all have those moments. We all go through those self-doubt moments. Um, it's really coming clear here and showing through that you do have the uh, strength 
and the determination and the willpower to really protect what you want. And it also is telling you that you have the ability to go with the tide, go with the changes. You just may have to be tapping a little bit more into your inner strength and your inner um, knowing to lead you through this. I feel like there's still a ch uh, uh, some kind of a change really happening and it feels like a new cycle. Um, we have a six of swords showing up on the bottom. You know, indicating again, you're moving away from things that weren't good for you or that weren't working out for you. Um, and I feel like you're really tuning into what you can do. Hope this is making sense. All right, Spirit, show me clearly for Scorpio what is happening for them. Let's get some cards here. One more. All right. Page of Wands. Page of Wands keeps coming out in a lot of people's readings. Page of Wands. Two of Wands. Okay. Page of Swords. you got two pages here. The Knight of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. You now have three pages. Bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords. Okay. And there we go. There's that change. I I felt it. It's the world, right? The world is showing up. Look, I feel like you've been having a lot of anxiety and a lot of stresses. There's things that are keeping you worried. You're concerned. Um, this could be about your finances. Uh, we, we only have three of pentacles here. It, but it, look, on the grand scale, it could be about your finances. It could be about your romantic life. It could be about your family life. This could be about just how you're feeling about where you are in on your path here. So, but... Things are changing for you, but there is going to be a need here, Scorpio, that you've got to kind of, um, they're really wanting you to open your mind up. We've got the Page of Wands, Two of Wands, the Page of Swords. So the Page of Wands, Wands is fire. This is our create, creations, our creativity. This is how we actually move through life action-wise, right? It's the things that light us up. The Page of Wands is beautiful energy. This is spontaneous energy. It is um, abandonment, like just uh, like free abandonment in joy, you know, like going for the stars, reaching out and going after your dream, what it is you are wanting. But it feels like there's something that is kind of holding you back a little bit. Perhaps it's a feeling of not being good enough. Perhaps it's a, a feeling of um, you've tried things in the past and it didn't work out, so you're a little bit anxious. You might be feeling worried about finances too. I'm getting that a lot for some of you guys. Makes sense. We've all gone through a hell of a lot of hardship and um, struggles over these last, especially two, going on three years now. So there's almost like this feeling of you're not quite sure which way you're wanting to go. Two of Wands. Um, you know, there's two paths for you to take. You can go left, you can go right. At the end of the day, they're both going to lead you where you're meant to be, but at the same time, one might take longer than the other. But the Two of Wands is looking over the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, gorgeous energy. This is trusting that everything is working out for you. Swords is our intellect, our logic, so it's also clear thinking. And in this deck, the Light Sears, it's a Page of Swords that's holding a bouquet of light bulbs. And each light bulb is indicating that there's a many opportunities, there's many different things coming your way, um, and it is going to be safe and you're going to be able to trust it. This page is walking on a tightrope. He's not looking at where he's putting his feet. He's trusting that he'll be guided to, to put it on the right, put it one in front of the other, and he's not going to fall off the tightrope. He's also leaning on um, the balloons that are holding him upright. He's trusting that he can actually uh, focus on what he is focusing on here, which is a book that he seems to be reading. Um, and just knowing that everything is going to work out the way it is really meant to be. And I feel like they want you to do that. To not allow any fears and anxiety to stop this beautiful change that's coming your way. You are reliable. You can stand up on your own two feet. Everything that you're wanting to get and achieve, it is there waiting for you. You just got to get really connected with your inner strength. I feel like that is really coming through for the hermit this reading. Okay, underneath the page of wands, we have the Knight of Swords. So you are actually really going after what it is you want, and you're moving quite rapidly. You're working on things, due diligently. You're putting a lot of energy in. You may even be having other people trying to help you here. Like maybe you're looking for a job, and you're, you're really networking so that you can um, find that right place, that right thing. 
because there does feel like there's a lot of opportunity around you. And then we have the Page of Cups showing up. So Page of Cups is that um, energy of going after what you love, almost with free abandonment. I keep saying that word, abandonment. And I don't mean that in the negative way, like someone's left you. I mean like just not having a lot of rules and restrictions around you. Putting in the hard work, dedicating yourself, but also allowing yourself to dream. Page of Cups is the dreamer here. He believes everything can come true, you know, with the right amount of energy. And um, that is very much the truth of this reading. Okay, and we have the world here. And like I said, I do feel like there's some new path that you're going on. And if it's not a new path, Scorpio, it's like everything's going to be changing around you that is going to feel like you're on a new path. Um, and you have the ability to to go through it, to um, to really embrace this change. But remember not to get too stuck, right? The chameleon is about, you know, blending in, adapting in whatever space they need to. And so that is a really powerful message that is coming through for you guys. Okay, let's continue. What else for Scorpio? Let's get a clarifier on the two of wands, ace of cups. You're wanting to follow your heart. You're wanting to follow. This is a gorgeous card, by the way, Scorpio. You are really wanting to stay dedicated to what this is that you are trying to achieve. Spirit is saying you need to do that. Don't let any kind of fear sidetrack you. What you are doing is the right thing. It is going to be um, beneficial to you. Ace of Cups is this brand new way of filling up your emotions. It's a promise of good things to come for you. There's that fool. I see, I knew it was going to show up. There is this new way. And as I said, it's either, for some of you guys, it's a new, completely new path that you are embarking on. Um, and it may be causing you a little stress because you can't see the end result yet. And But it's going to be positive. They're telling you it's going to be very positive for you. And for others, it's going to be you're still pursuing the same path that you're on, but everything is going to shift around it that is going to feel brand new. All right, Spirit, let's continue. Let's get a card for Page of Swords, Page of Cups. And you know what? Also, pages are messengers. So you may be receiving physical messages that are guiding you. You may be getting word um, intellectually with the communication here. Page of Swords, Page of Cups is... I feel like that's going to be more you connecting to your intuitiveness to let you know that you are doing the right thing. You are on the right path. Okay, let's continue. I just seen the King of Pentacles. So even financially, I feel like this is going to change things for you in a really gorgeous, beautiful way. Let's get one more here. That's too many. Queen of Swords. Yeah, I like the Scorpio. Um, you know, sometimes, I know that you're a water sign. Sometimes, though, Queen of Swords kind of does remind you, remind me of you. Um, you're very loving and all of, all of that energy, right? You're beautiful, you're compassionate, you're protective, all of those things. But you can really be quite um, concise with your words, and you can be quite clear with what you want to say. Sometimes you can even be a little bit um, sharp, you know, and that's okay. It's a beautiful energy. Queen of Swords showing up in this reading, clarifying the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. It's like, just re keep your mind clear where you are going. Don't get lost in any, the fear-based shit, you know. This is about knowing what you want and going after it and not allowing anything to get in your way. Positive card showing up here. And again, the Fool. So... This is twice now that this is showing up, and I felt at the very beginning you were about to go on a new journey, right? Things are changing for you. New way of doing things. This showing up twice, it's guaranteed. This is Spirit saying, you know, you are going to have a complete change in your life, and it is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. Trusting in your capability here is going to be the key. Okay, Seven of Cups huh, and Chariot and the Emperor on the bottom. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is very positive. Seven of Cups, again, that clarity, right? Seven of Cups is lots of opportunities, lots of options. 
the thing is is that sometimes when we get in that state where we're paranoid or we're freaking out because we're nervous and we're scared and we don't know if we can you know we can't all be strong all day every day right sometimes we have those weak days where we start to second guess ourselves and our our own ability um, and the seven of cups can be that energy where you're you're not sure look he's trying to figure out which cup to pick pick the orange one pick the copper one that's the one that's lit up here so it is about staying focused on that one opportunity not spilling your energy over to a whole bunch of others and also not spilling your energy into thinking that you're not going to be successful here okay so because as long as you're able to do that which I know you are you are going to be fully in charge these two cards are such powerful cards chariot and the, and um, the Emperor so we've got cancer and we've got Aries maybe you have placements in one of those signs maybe check out their reading it might that one of the readings I've done um, it might give you a fuller picture chariot you're going to be back in in control of your vessel of your life of your path Emperor same deal man in control of his kingdom in control of the way his life is unfolding You've worked really hard to get to this point. Don't give up. Um, just keep persevering here. You have all the answers that lie within yourself, uh, Scorpio. And you know that you're going to be very successful. Is it going to take energy? 100%. Everything that is worth something takes work, you know? But they are telling you right here, just be adaptable. Go with the change. Ex get prepared for this new leap of faith that's coming in. The fool card, right? New leap of faith. New, a new way that your life is going to shape up here get prepared for that um, and you're going to be very successful i feel like this is a really great rating for you um, i like it so stopping to think is there anything else that they're giving me here dream big dream big dream big but also you know keep your feet on the ground and like be very clear with what you want if you look at the Queen of Swords and then the Nine of Swords, look at how she's looking at the Nine of Swords. Kind of like, you know, get up. It's okay. Your anxiety, your stresses, that doesn't mean they're coming true. Get in your, your strength and you are going to be smooth sailing in the direction that you want. So very beautiful and positive. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I hope it does help in some way. Thank you again for being here, and um, I hope to see you back sometime. Take care.